Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video of Lunes CD Battles. We're here in Free Power of Small Pit as usual. <coughs> I woke up at like, I don't know, two hours ago. I still have to call the center so that I know that I'm jobless, etc, etc. I got another, basically three weeks after this week of work, which I don't really care, honestly. I literally will be... Bye, wait. Actually, two weeks. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go with this year. Uh, we go with the classic NG village and ice because I feel like that's actually really good. But of course, he escapes. It'll send me to this shitty map. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, I really don't want to play this map though. So we'll get Yang Yang instead. And we go with, let's see, I obviously want to open my hotkeys, boat, arm, and mortar. Yeah, I think that's good. I could also go boat, glue, mortar, but he skips him, uh, like he just surrenders. What a waste. It'd be better if it wasn't that case, but it is whatever, and uh, we should be totally fine. Once he gets to the close one, which is now cool. A really bad and bad player. I don't know why they're risking everything, but that is completely fine. I can randomize if I want to, and that's a really good randomization, honestly, but I will skip on top for that. Off piece again, and we get this map instead. That's actually pretty decent. Sadly, no sniper farm nor a normal farm. But we got mortar instead if we are going to play this map, which we sadly do. I don't know why he wants to play this map. This map is like horrible for noobs. Like very horrible. Very, very, very horrible. I wonder if you can actually fit a mortar down here. Mm, no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go with a grape shot right here, and that easily handles just fine. Also, Monkey Sense, you can see that he's a bad player because, first of all, he goes all in for more pit. Secondly, he's going Kobiko when he's literally ecoing, what a dumbass. And thirdly, he's enter stunning on a very, very short map, at least with the AI path, which isn't good for him. Very, very not good for him. So, what am I supposed to do here? Probably just Eco. Like, I know he's not gonna win this game because he is playing this very, very badly. And, uh, no offense against Ostis, but if you really want to play more pit, make sure that you actually go a really good powers as well. Obviously, I don't know what strategy he has really. But uh, it should be obvious that you at least need like tier 3 powers at most. If you really want to win more pits. Unless you're really good of a player, then obviously there's a difference between powers and skill, if that makes sense. So that's something different. Also, why do I keep moving my mouse always? That makes no sense. I don't, I don't really move my mouse. It's kind of stupid. Oh well. Let's go for the Sanctuary Grape Shot for the Blacks here, and that handles just fine. I hate the fact that even though it looks like it's on last, it's actually on first, and shoots like up here, which is so stupid. But now can do. Okay, let's put this guy here. And, uh, yeah, we should be cooking. Kinda annoying if he has Copy Eco. Can't really do anything about it. He also sends stuff and I send stuff, which is so fucking stupid, but no. I'm not complaining though. He's trying his best, that's for sure. It's for 9 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Or at least I had 550 eco, which I don't really care anymore. 50 would be pretty good. 550 I meant. Wizard's up bomb. That's really interesting. I wouldn't say that's pretty good, but I mean, maybe he randomized as well. 
as he knows he's gonna lose. Let's go with I guess 7 of Eco, and if he's rushing me, I can always go and sell these two for 8 ODS down here or here. I think down here is better. So if he decides to rush me, that'd be Wundarino. 13, please. Thank you. I'm waiting. No rush, which means I'm gonna do a tiny baby rush. See what he's gonna do about it. Yeah, I think he's dead. Uh, actually, no. Range boost carries. Range boost carries. Good, 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 good. At least something. But again, he might just lose this game. Let's go with two gross nests and fast shooting. Let's get this guy here as well. <laughs> yeah, it will be a little bit difficult, that's for sure. So let's go with that. Oh, never mind, he just went for the Dragon's Breath. Fair enough. 940. Um, I can put this guy actually on strong with a destroyer as a our defense for now. Only I could just kill him with an all out rush, but I really want to see what he's gonna do. I don't think I will ever lose to this guy because he is not really that good. Honestly, my Eek is also not good, but this is power, so it doesn't really matter. And we can use lightning if we need to. But usually, we should be fine here. If he sends me a more, I think I'm gonna sell this mortar and go for the fucking near one of them. Well, I actually have the money for that, so I might sell this guy. Actually, not this guy. That's as far as I can see, we're totally chilling. Oh. Sending me? Oh, and now I got the money. I'm just one dollar short, but I still got the money. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit unfair that he's playing against one of one of the better players, if I'm being honest. Next mob I will just boost most likely. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, by all means. Honestly I feel like you guys are bored, so I'm just gonna do my BFB and then I'm gonna allow them. He's gonna mob boost again this early, which uh, I don't know. Isn't really really smart. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. I can easily just damage boost this if I really need to. But I like should be fine. Yeah, see. You tried so many times to win, and it didn't just really work. I don't know why he said well done. Like, more, more boost is not good. It's really not good. It's a tier 1 power that is not good, especially on a map like that, and I won with my randomization, which is kind of funny. What's I guess the next opponent? Our next opponent is going to be Girl's Face, and uh, yeah, I don't know. This guy seems a little bit better. Honestly, he's from the Krainer Clan. And uh, his prestige is not that good as mine. That so means I win more games than him. So I think I'm gonna go with honestly Ninja Farm Mortar. I haven't played Das Wage on this map specifically for like basically almost a year. Technically, so we'll see. If I can win or not. Let's go with a Ninja probably here, yeah. I'm just gonna pay his one because he's going Dark and Boomer as expected. And I will win. Because if I play this correctly, I will probably never lose to this guy. But we never know what powers he will have. I have to guess he has quick shot TDS bullshit. So just a normal saddle is all I need. Making sure that he sends a lot. And yeah, that's that's good enough. Let's go with here, this beautiful guy that just handles just fine. 
Oh, jetzt wird geboost, okay. Sie going. Sie going, what's the name? Darf ich Glühlern? Who knows? But usually, when people are in a Grinder Clan, they usually go with Darth and Boomer right away. Like all the time, non stop. No skill required, nothing like that. They just want fast wins, which, which I guess is fair for clans. So you can actually win the game, but. Or get a lot of good keys and everything. But honestly, I just don't see this being worth at all. I'm gonna mix eco just a tiny bit more as usual. Like mix eco is gonna be beautiful of a thing for the strategy. It's gonna be really, really beautiful. If he decides to rush me, I can just go for the double shot and a mortar, and uh, we should be fine. I don't think that's gonna do anything really. At least if I put this on, yeah, yes, blooper. Okay, never mind. The East have been going like toxic powers, which is gonna be really annoying. I expect blacks. Yep, there we go. Once my last big boost is done, I can go for my farms and then I should be cooking. What were you thinking? What the fuck am I doing? But that's how you play Nishwa Mortar. You need a lot of eco if you really want to win this game. There we go. I can go for my Amarino and we should be fine for a while. And if he decides to rush me with a power lock, I can always sell this guy for a Plujitsu and we should be fine. Usually we don't really need Bunjitsu and he doesn't have power lock. Let's go for the mortar right about here. <coughs> Seems to be fine for a while, so will I, really. The, uh, Plantacione. There we go. And I'm gonna get, like, a lot more farms than my opponent, because I have Wibbled Eco. That's all you need to know, really. Like, I'm gonna catch up with farms so fast, thanks to the economy that I got. That's not what I meant to do, honestly, but it's fine. There we go. Let's get down here instead. And we go play birdie stuff up there instead. Let's go one, one more farm, and then we should be cooking. Cool. So if you have self freeze, I can always go for a damage boost. Flash bomb combo, we should be fine. Emma Recro, that's not really smart. Wait, come on, boost! Thank you. No way. Thank you. That would be bad if I actually lost there. Jesus Christ. You fought, buddy. You fought. I'll just damage right away. And that's an easy defense. Just gonna post mad mode. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't expect weak efficiency, but though, which is kinda funny. So yeah. Mix eco is still the better play with Nishma Mortar. Because again, if you play passive you might have lost there. So that's kind of funny. Yeah, that was a bad game, buddy. I don't know why you went Dark and Boomer against someone who's actually being good at being passive, but we move. 
it's the same guy again. But uh, yeah, we should be fine. It's anything really. And I accidentally opened Streamlabs, which is definitely not the play. What are you smiling for, you dumbass? I'm gonna smile back, dumbass. Can I? Can I? Bro, it doesn't let me close. Thank you. Okay, so I think we got a better place again to go Ninja of a Mortar and then we should be fine. Yeah, 62 prestige is staying there for a while, but it's fine. Completely chill. I might get my top 100 badge here this week. Which is beautiful. I haven't gotten, gotten that for like, what, almost a year at this point because I'm not really a grinder. I can put this guy like, I think here is good. Well, I was probably really mad that I won the game. Like every other grinders, they always go like Ninja Super or something like bullshit and then think they can win this game when they literally do not. There we go. Oh yeah, it's going with it. Okay, so I win automatically unless you go super. But uh, we should be cooking still. Uh, he missed one right, that's fine. Yeah, he's definitely, he definitely has Kobe Eco. You expect me to go, again, really aggro with my mix Eco, but... Fuck you, buddy. I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Unless he's doing a boost, and that's a definitely a different story. Yeah, he's going to be a boost. That's weird that he doesn't go for round 3. <coughs> there we go. And we're cooking. Go for the plantation. And we should be cooking. There we go. Let's go. Um <coughs> let's see. I think I'm gonna go for another farm, honestly. He probably has self freeze this time. Which most wizard farm players would do if they grind. That's what they usually do, since they're so mad. They can see, they can see that I'm, you know, creating a lot. But we should be cooking still. Can I? Thank you. Make sure that this guy sends a lot more, and we're cooking as usual. Beautiful, beautiful. I like, that, I like. I don't think he will ever beat my Ninja from Mortar, unless I'm unlucky, but usually I should be fine. Look at my farms still. My farms are crazy good. They're crazy good. Bro, it's just creating. I wouldn't go for that. He's probably gonna go for Lightning because he wants to create. No, no, fuck mine. We're good. We're cooking, we're fine. Chilling like a villain. He's going for the bang, so he definitely has uh, something called Super Monkey in his loadout. Which is kind of annoying. Of course, I'm another. Lightning here. There we go. We can go for the PI next round. And then we should be cooking just fine. Again, if you're selfish, I can just damage boost and lightning spam, and we should definitely be cooking. I'm fine doing that. There we go. Nice, nice. We're cooking. Now if he goes with BI, I can easily go, yeah, and rush him. Or say a lightning or something. Easy. I'm gonna do this again. It's not really that huge of a rush. 
by all means. People just panic like this guy for example. But you can see yeah, it's literally Super Monkey in his loadout because he doesn't want to showcase his third tower by all necessary. Yeah, it goes for the Dragon Surf right away. Which means I can just go for my farm here. Because he doesn't have the money to rush me. If he does so, I can just Lightning. If possible, I can go for another BI. Which I don't think is possible. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Nah, it's not possible, sadly enough. Yeah, that's gonna be just the Lightning, buddy. Really care. And I'm gonna go for it. Now, there we go. Let's go for the Junchitsu. And that easily handles. That's just another lightning, buddy. You think you can make me boost with a cheap rush like that? Oh nah, he just went for another BI, literally when he collected by rushing me. That's not smart, buddy. That's literally not smart, I'm gonna face from non-stop till he defends. That's not gonna defend, he has to go for the Tempest, that's not Tempest, for the Bullwind. Never mind, he survives somehow. Okay. He's something. <coughs> so I'm gonna send him a BFB. Since I got so much eco. Or some some cheesy stuff, you know? And then we should be cooking. I expected him to rush me as well with a BFB, but he does not want to. He's playing this very safe. Obviously saying that he has Super Monkey. And uh, we should be cooking still. Usually there's a Tempest spot. But he just damage boosts. And send him another one. Come on. There we go. Keep sending those. And then force him another boost, most likely. Because people like this guy is stu are stupid. Let's go for the Flash Bomber. Of course he's Super Monkey. I literally saw it coming. There we go. And the CMG, and we're gonna go for the Sabo now. Sell this guy. We don't really need the motor saw. Never mind, we do. Somehow. It's kinda stupid, honestly. Sell these two, go for my factory. We're good. I can be really annoying and rush him non-stop, really. That's probably a damage boost here. Yep. And it sucks that you already used two damage boosts, while I did none. I used none. And my farms are cooking because I kept being aggressive with my eco as well. After going for my BIAs. You just destroyed your own eco like that, that's kind of fucking stupid. Even if you send me that's non-stop, I will be fine. I don't know what this guy's thinking. That's a stupid rush. There we go. You can go for a flash bomber right 
here. That's stupid rush again. Let's go for this guy. I could damage boost if I want to, but I feel like doing that will just destroy me. So let's go with that. This here. Motor stole once. Motor stole twice. I got money to waste, so it's completely chill. What the fuck are you sending me, my man? Fuck are you sending me? Bro. You lost this game already. You're playing this really stupid for Wizard Fun super strategy. <coughs> very, very stupid. Like, I'm getting a lot of farms nowadays anyway. So it's completely chill if I just go for the modest store spam. Look at the difference between our farms. He sent me two BFBs and a CMG, which is neglect literally to what? Almost 1000 eco done? Oh wait, it's 650 eco, I think. It's 100 for one pass cooldown, or is it 140? If that's the case, that's gonna be like what? 800 at this point? So that's like really bad for him. And look at me out farming this guy. It's just so bad for this guy. It's not good. I haven't even damage boosted yet. And I'm gonna send fast, uh, not fast cooldown, space cooldown, or slow cooldown, CMGs, and he's gonna lose. Let's go for the big one. There we go. And now I can send space CMGs. <coughs> but as usual, I'm gonna send fast cooldown and then spaced. That's how, what he should do. There we go. He saw this BI, which is good at least, so it's, at least I'm happy with that. There we go. Keep sending those bases. If he decides to rush me, I'll just defend as usual. I got stall, I got double stall actually. So I automatically won anyway, because I've double stall. One is basically a stun, and the other one is actually a stall. So that's like, okay. There we go. Let's go for one more, I think. I don't think this guy collects, so let's just put this guy here. Because I might have be able to put this guy there. No, I cannot. He probably smelled thinking he will win this game, but honestly, he will just lose to the AI. Meanwhile, I'll be chilling like a villain. Come on. That's a base pump, because you need to focus more on your defense than rushing me. And then you can rush me later on if you have like really good defense for later on, but... I don't know, man, this is not good for you. If no farms, if no eco... Of course, never do I, but I had way more, way more arms, so eco doesn't really matter for me. So yeah, we should be fine. This is basically a Nitro Mortar strategy video currently, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Sad about this. <coughs> go for this. There we go. And he's got another. Arm, which is beautiful. Should be able to get the money. Yes, perfect. Might Sabo soon again. I'm gonna put the scalp here. Sabo, send the CMG. Oops, that's not what I meant to sell. Can I please place? Thank you. Sabo now, and that uh, easy defense. I don't need to boost this at all. Bro, stop sending me camos. Literally got ninjas. I think this is a bit unfair though. Just a tiny bit. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? 
think that's a bit tiny bit unfair. Like I got infinite money, I can rush my opponent non-stop if I want to, and he just dies. GG's. And I think that's gonna wrap this video up with a W moment. This grinder here, really really sad that he lost multiple times against me, especially against Ninja Farm Mortar. And I am still the Ninja Farm Mortar King! I stay as the Ninja Mortar King. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. It's always free, but I'll share you by later. So, get to see in the next video, and please, like I said before, at some point, I really want YouTube as my job, which means at some point I do care about my views, my subscribers, and if you guys really, really want to help me out, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to use my membership or join my membership. And feel free to share my channel with everyone you know so we can hit 10,000 this year if possible. If not, that's completely fine. I'm also happy with 7.5k. But next year I have a goal of 25,000. I'll be more active on YouTube. Daily content is way true. Hopefully it works. If not, that is kind of sad. But please help me out with this. And I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. Peace out. Love you guys. Have a nice and juicy day.